What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. As you can see in my background, I'm still in Mary's corner. To be honest, I'm the one who set up all of these, so I guess it's kind of okay for me to steal it a little bit. And as you can see in the background, I've installed a new addition to our corner. It's an IKEA pegboard and yeah, if you want pegboards or stuff like that, I'll link down below some shops that sell them for a reasonable price. So as you can see in the title below, I'll be sharing with you my top finds on Lazada this month. But let me quickly explain why I made this video. To be honest with you guys, I'm slowly shifting away from smartphones and more into peripherals. And as you all know, I'm more of a BTS guy. Well, not the band BTS. I'm kind of a fan, but more into the behind the scenes guy. To those of you who don't know, when Mary finds some trinkets or some weird stuff online it's probably because of me it's like I spend 60 or 70 percent of my day just on Lazada or even Shopee for stuff that we actually need you can say I'm addicted to online shopping but let's be real here who isn't so in my channel we'll be focusing more on peripherals some camera stuff or some things that we actually need for our studio behind the scenes and even some setups or even some DIY stuff in the near future so for my top five finds let's start with this one. Well, I didn't actually find this one, but it was a gift from our friends from Unbox, Leia and Jamie. So what is it? Well, it's a reflector. Let me just quickly open it so you can see better and understand what it actually is. Well, simply put, a reflector is a tool to redirect light. A reflector doesn't create light in a way that a flash does. It simply redirects light from a flash or even a studio strobe. And that's important to understand for two reasons. The first is the light from a reflector isn't any brighter than what's already there. So you can't use them to light up a night portrait unless you're already using a flash or any other light source as well. The second point to understand is that the quality of light will match the quality of light that's in the scene. So for example, you're shooting at sunset, the light that will bounce off the reflector will also be orange or in an orange hue. And it's not just a reflector. You can also use this as a diffuser because this has a diffuser underneath. So if the light source is too harsh, you can use this to cover it so it can diffuse the light properly. Here's an example footage without the diffuser. And here's a sample video with the diffuser. It has five sides. First, on the inside, it has a diffuser. It has a silver side which can increase highlights. So without any reflectors, the light is only on one side of my face. And now we're using the silver side of the reflector and as you can see, it will fill the shadows in my face, making it look like I'm using two lights instead of one. Black, so you can use it as a flag to block light. Gold, if you want a natural golden warm feel, especially for sunsets or indoor portraits. And white, to produce an even neutral color balanced light. You don't have to be a professional photographer or videographer for you to find a reason to get one. But let me tell you this, reflectors are relatively cheap and bouncing light off of a reflector will give you a large softbox source working in or outside your studio. It's one of the cheapest yet most versatile lighting tool you can buy. You don't have to break your bank for you to upgrade your photos. Sometimes all you need is good lighting. Next is this one. It's a Basay 17-in-1 USB Type-C hub. The reason I got this, well, originally I had a MacBook Pro 13-inch 2019. MacBooks don't exactly have the most ports you can get in a laptop. It only has two USB Type-C hubs and a headphone jack, and that's pretty much it. And of course, the dongle life is real. Well, we already have a dongle, but this time I want something more permanent in my setup. Well, not just permanent, a more powerful and a faster tool for me to import stuff in Final Cut Pro or the need to have three HDMI ports for my multiple displays. If you're always on the go, this USB hub isn't the one for you. Well, aside from the form factor and its size, well, it's not exactly travel friendly. And also the fact that this behemoth needs to be powered up. Well, not all the time, but if you want to use multiple displays, it needs to be powered up. You have a total of 17 ports, which is, I know, a bit overkill for my setup, but you can never have enough ports. I bought this because I just want to be ready just in case I review multiple monitors like last time, which was a real struggle because I didn't have this at that time. Plus, Mary and I share this hub. Well, actually, she stole this from my desk because I already have a Mac Mini M1 and that has enough ports for me. Let me start from the top. It has a micro SD card and an SD card slot, three USB 3.0 on the front, two USB type C's, and a headphone jack. And at the back, you have a power delivery port, a USB type C port to connect to your PC, or in Mary's case, a MacBook, two USB 2.0 ports, three HDMI ports, 
which is, I know, again, overkill, a power port, and an Ethernet port. It's versatile in the sense that you can use it vertically in this case, or in Mary's case, she likes to put it horizontally or flat on her desk. I know it's pricey, especially when you click the link, but for me, this USB hub is really worth it. And for my next top five Lazada finds is this cable organizer. And from the name itself, it organizes your cables. Well, this is part two of my order because when I fixed Mary and my cables on our desk setups, well, let's just say two meters wasn't enough. We got a lot of cables going on and yeah, it's not aesthetically pleasing to look at. That's why we got this one. If you're wondering what this clip is for, well, if you're gonna open it manually by hand, it's gonna take you a long time and you may even hurt your fingers. What this clip does is you're gonna put your wires in here, insert it into this tube, and slide it along, and voila! Your cables are now organized. As far as we've tried, I've put seven cables inside this tube and it fits. It's probably one of my favorites in this top five because it made our desks more aesthetically pleasing and it's relatively cheap. Fourth on the list is this Kodak Printomatic. Well, why did I buy this? For one thing, Instax pictures aren't exactly my thing because it doesn't quite look as vintage as what this produces. I know it may sound ironic because I'm talking about all the setups that will make your pictures look good. I bought a Polaroid. For me, I found that the Kodak Printomatic is slightly much better than the Instax. Well, first off, the pictures came out nicely. It doesn't have these borders that the Instax has and you can also use the photos as your sticker. So if you want to stick it on somewhere like a wall or even your album, it already has an adhesive so it'll stick on properly. Once you buy it, it comes with free 10 sticker papers for you to get started or you can even buy a 20 pack sticker paper for cheap on Lazada. I'll be putting the links down below. And for sample pictures, I have here a couple which we already took using the Kodak Printomatic. And for size comparison against the Instax photo, this is what it looks like. And for the last item on my list, well, girls, you might find this boring, but this is the Oraya 86-in-1 Tech Toolkit. Well, basically, you get what's in the name. It's a toolkit that has everything that you need when it comes to tech, like opening up smartphones or even fixing screens. And when we order new furniture, well, it's not advisable, but I use this as well. It comes with magnetic mats. You can put the screws here so it won't be all over the place. A magnetizer so screws can attach to your screwdriver. It also comes with plastic prying tools, a suction cup and Mary's favorite panundot, some tweezers, metal prying tools when the plastic ones aren't enough, and of course the screwdriver kit. You can never have enough tools since you don't know when you actually need one. It's better to be ready instead of, you know, just going out and getting the actual tool than going back home, which takes a lot of time. So with this 86-in-1 tech toolkit, I'm always ready. So yeah, there you have it. Those are my top 5 Lazada finds for the month of January. And if you find some weird stuff online, let me know. Again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.